bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Please be seated for some announcements. I, uh, I, I want to start this. Um, you know, the, 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 the numbers are going up. Uh, bad numbers are going up everywhere, including Suffolk County. Praying that we'll go down again. I've been emailed about this. Pastor, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? You know, I'm, I'm going to flip to the back of the book and find the answer to what we do. The judgment call. Uh, so because we have online services, um, I am not thinking we're going to close down. But everybody understands. There were people who were last week that aren't here this week, and I think, you know what I mean? They're just going, ah, we all get that. I want to say, if you, if you, if it's making you antsy to, to come to our church, you know, we have windows open. Okay. I mean, that's something we're doing. There's things we're going to do. I also want to tell you, services on Saturday night and at 8.30 are have much less attendance than this one. That might be something that you think, oh, okay, I'll do that. But so the combination of saying, of advocating, we can, we can spread out into more services. We will keep opening the windows. Will, will we do it if snow blows in? I don't know. Um, <laughs> just dress warm. Just dress warm. Dress, we're gonna have the heat crank and we're gonna wear a coat, okay? Or if it's just too much, you, we can watch online. You know what I mean? But um, right now, I'm thinking, one way or another, we will, with all the things we're doing, mask, etc., continue to, to meet like this. If you've got, I'm, I'm all, we're in this together. You got more input on this? Email me, talk to me. But that's that's where I'm at right now. But I guess I'm bringing that up because I'm I'm, I'm, I'm noticing oh, quite a bit more people here than are the other services. You might want to think about that. Go on. Uh, the Smithtown Emergency Food Pantry will give away its remaining Thanksgiving food boxes and gift cards for Christmas meals on December 15th, 17th, and the 22nd. So mark your calendars. The food pantry will also, uh, toys are provided by St. James Volunteer Fire Department, so we thank them tremendously. If you know someone in need, have them call the food pantry. Uh, obviously see the bulletin for details. Uh, the church will be decorated for Christmas after the 10.30 a.m. worship service today. Today! We're today. Dead. So if you can stick around to help, that would be great. At, uh, the, at the moment, in terms of people who feel they're comfortable going up a ladder, <laughs> it might just be me at the moment. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, please, uh, particularly, uh, we, we need all kinds of people, but um, the, usually the number of people who feel uh, comfortable going up the ladder to, up, to the, up to the edge there are, are, are less. If, if, if you're another one, please stick around. We'll do this, get this job done. I see a lot of young people here in the front. Yeah. <laughs> you, you yourself look pretty healthy, Owens. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Best compliment I've had. Thank you. Okay, your help is needed to spread the word in the neighborhood right around town uh, where you live, right here in the great town of St. James. Our family Christmas walk around will be on December 23rd. Everybody should have that in their calendar. Uh, if you can help with the yard sign or distributing the postcards. Right, so so um, we um, a, a number of people signed up for signs. And um, uh, so if you haven't picked yours up, uh, please pick it up today. Um, and, and then we have, uh, well, the number is down below 10 now, uh, extra ones. Um, so if you want to, if you put, take one and put it on your street, um, that would be great. Uh, Bill Armstrong back there at the Scouts, he said, yeah, I get one, and I happen to know because he lives nearby here. People walk by his house all the time, that'd be great. Um, that'd be good, so grab, grab a sign, when we go. Let, let, let's clear out the rest of those signs today. Uh, I was, even yesterday, um, I was, um, I phoned up uh, Rich and Liz Wagner. They're great members here, and because of COVID, they're just, it's just too much for them to be here. They watch online. But I knew they'd say yes. I said, um, hey, can we put a sign on your lawn? Absolutely. Uh, I walked over, put one on their lawn, went over to Holman's place, put one on their lawn. Okay, uh, so we get, let's get those signs out. And, uh, and the, now cards, we ran out of cards. 
But we've ordered a thousand more, and I was hoping they'd be here yesterday. He's not here yet, but we'll get there and uh, distribute those cards. Last one. Also, please see the bulletin for a complete list of our Advent and Christmas worship services uh, throughout the end of the year. Anything else you want to add on that, Pastor? Yeah, y'all know, right? You gotta sign up. You gotta phone Pam. Do not tell me it's useless. Um, <laughs> uh, phone Pam. She she works till two thirty every every weekday, and book your spot on Christmas Eve if you plan on coming. Okay. And by the way, if something happens, you think well, suddenly I booked the spot and I'm not coming, please phone and say, actually, it turns out we're not coming. That'll, that'll open up seats for other people. That's it? What's that? Bill, Bill I'm with the, with the scouts. Please, Bill, tell us about 301. 301 is church sponsored and event sponsored in 301 for many years. Actually, our first single scout was in 1966, John Easter, and I ran to his sister uh, to the previous church service. So, yeah, Linda, Linda, Linda Pennington, right? His sister? Yeah, yeah. Pennington. So anyway, um, Scouts like anything we want to get in our equipment, and it's not by new equipment, they are traveling already reached for Christmas trees. Uh, God, if you can help, that would be wonderful. And thank you all again for being our part. Thank you. So why don't we show Don Reinerson how much we love having him here? And with that, go in peace and serve the